Up next for a versified commentary, we have McGrevious, who some of you guys may recognize from cameo appearances in some of my other videos. And I decided I was going to give him some tricky shit to do. We got some SOCOM for a co-op up in this bitch. And I'll tell you, he did a great job on this commentary. And you guys are going to be highly entertained what he was able to do with this video. Because this is a tricky fucking game to do a commentary over. Now, I know people are going to say, they're going to say, I thought you hate third person shooters. Yes, I can't stand multiplayer third person shooters. Because I hate the mechanic that allows a motherfucker to hide behind a wall and see people coming around corners and shit like that. So games like SOCOM 4, Uncharted series, or the Gears of War series, you'll never see me play the multiplayer online. However... I do enjoy a good campaign or co-op playing against the AI-controlled enemies, so that's why I'll usually buy a third-person shooter, just for the campaign or the co-op shit. So, you'll notice I have no soul commentary on my channel, and the reason for that is I just can't figure out how to make this shit entertaining, man. I'll be honest with you. Not too many people on my friends list have this game, first of all, so I highly doubt there's a long line of people wanting to see a video on this motherfucker. But you know what? It makes for a great reverse hit fire commentary when people have no fucking clue what they're going to be getting. So for those of you guys who are still signed up for reverse hit fire commentaries, just a hint, you may be getting one of these games. Now, same shit applies for all the prior videos that I mentioned. Do not leave any dickhead comments towards the commentator. You can make fun of my gameplay, or you can make fun of the game itself all you want. But no bullshit towards the commentators. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. If you like what you hear, you can go check out his channel. But for now, stay tuned. You guys will get to hear McGreevious' action to the fact that he's actually watching SOCOM Co-op. All right, Jay, look, what have we got for us here? SOCOM 4. Nice one. All right, boys, my name is Ryan, a.k.a. McGreevious, a.k.a. Uh, whatever the fuck you want to call me. Doing a reverse Kipfire commentary here for JLoco11, or JLoco11. I've never actually asked you that before. Is it 11 or is it 1-1? One, one? Um, yeah, doing some soaking forward by the looks of it. Leviathan takedown, apparently. I saw enemy count high there, so I'm going to assume this isn't player v player multiplayer. This is some sort of shitty co-op type thing. And, yeah, apparently... So it's meant to be a war simulator, and apparently in real war men come towards you and miss you at close range. So, it's a very real life game. You get a quad spread happens in real life all the time too. So at the minute you're raping faces, which is nice. Good for you. And um... Th th look at what the fuck is that guy in the right doing? Then when you see it, he was just standing spraying at the ground. You're gonna die if you stay there man, get the fuck out of there. Fucking fucking run! Or continue to sit there, that, 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 that's fine too. By the way, guys, I've got a bit of a stutter as well, so if that happens, just feel free to, I don't know, shut the fuck up about it. Okay, so you're finally moving. And, and I, I don't know what the fuck they were meant to be doing, but that's that's some wonderful AI right there. So, uh, you're running towards something, which is always good, making progress. It's nice to see the things moving forward. And I can see a white diamond somewhere in the background, so I'm assuming that's where you're meant to be heading in the long run. Resupply because... Reason plans good for you apparently. So we're gonna go up into some sort of big boat here. And I can hear boys talking. Just quite mute them cunts. By the way, guys, if I pause like that, it's because I'm having a cigarette while I do this because I'm a casual bastard like that. And uh, did you just outgun a sniper from like the hip? That's amazing. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah. So looking forward. See, I never actually played this spec up. I never even played the campaign. All I played was the uh, multiplayer beta, which is pretty good. Um, pretty fucking awesome actually. But none of my friends played it, so I didn't really play it too much because I don't really like playing uh, you know, online games when I'm not with people. Just because it gets a bit boring. But yeah, I can see shit's going down here. There's about a million of them, and I'm assuming you're gonna rape every single. I kind of hope you feel in this video. I I'm kind of hoping this is like a feel video, just so I can laugh at you at the end. I'm probably going to laugh at your throat, hopefully you cock off somewhere along the line so I can take the piss out of you because you just took the piss out of me a good bit in my fucking hipfire commentary. So, a lot of sitting about in this game. Yep. Just sitting behind things and shooting apparently. Also, I thought you didn't like third person shooters. Oh no, it was third person multiplayer you didn't like. Alright, cool. So you're slowly but steadily moving forward here. You haven't died yet, which is always good. No, he likes to die. Look at this fucking hero here. Fucking champion there, like. What the hell is he doing? Alright, right, get moving here. Fucking hell. Let's just start walking somewhere. See that bridge? Aye, walk down it. There you go, good boy. So, I don't know if you know these guys or not. That you're in the lobby with them. I'm assuming you don't because you're sort of just running away from them. Oh, behind you. Behind you! Get him! Shoot the red barrels! 
Shoot the red barrels! What are you doing? Shoot the fucking red barrels! Don't do 360! Oh. Red barrels means explosives, and if it's explosive, you have to shoot it. It's fucking video game law. Why is he shooting that? I've no idea what's going on here. It's a very frustrating experience. You're doing some more running. This is this is class. This is nice. There's, there's a white diamond. Go towards it. That's my advice to you. Fucking good graphics, though. But yeah, it's one of those games um, I enjoyed the beta. But overall, it just wasn't the kind of... How the fuck did you know he was there? Shoot the fucking red barrels! Fuck, stop being a dick and just fucking shoot them. You're an absolute bastard, you know what? Right, kill that guy. Because he's just, he's just toying with you. There you go. So, yeah, the graphics, um, yeah, they're there. Visually impressive. I know idea what I'm meant to be saying. I don't know enough about this game to actually give you a play-by-play -play of what's going on here. Apart from the fact you should have fucking died there. Why you aren't dead it will never be known. But yeah, so I don't, I don't know what I'm meant to be talking about in this game. I've no idea what's going on. But you're actually moving now, which is good. As opposed to the first half of the video where you were just standing still behind things. It's always nice to be moving somewhere, getting somewhere in life. And uh, that guy's throwing grenades at you. Can't be having that. So, yes. Just doing some more running. A lot of hiding behind things in this game. It's good people like people always enjoy hiding. Uh, yeah. This is... Uh, yeah. You can see what's going on. Uh, there's there's not much going on. There's two guys who're going to get them as well. <laughs> um, I think I might be taking the whole commentary thing a little too literally. I'm literally giving you a play by play of what's going on here. But that's because I don't know what the fuck to say. I, don't, I can't give you any background in the game or anything like that. Apart from the fact I played the shit out of Sokum 2. That was a good game. That's pretty much all I've got to say on that matter. You're getting a shot from somewhere. You might want to do something about that. But yeah, see if see if nothing exciting happens anytime soon, I am gonna give you the worst video for a fucking hipfire commentary. I am gonna give you a video of me playing Magic the Gathering or some shit like that. And fucking watch you commentate that, you bastard. Right, you're you're you've got completely left Jack there's rockets coming towards you, shit's kicking you know, off. Either neutralize a commander called Naga. His parents obviously hated him to give him a name like Naga. And how the fuck did you even see them guys up there? I would never have seen them guys. You have the eyesight of a hawk. Of I'm shitty. Mike, Mike Nice going offline. Bye, Mike. So you're just sort of strafing about. Rockets flying everywhere. It's like something of a Michael Bay movie at the minute. So much for being a war simulator. I'm assuming you have to kill that commander eventually. But I guarantee you, he will be a fucking bullet sponge. Like, you know, a. Um, and all bosses are fucking bullet sponges. I bet he, he'll be a human, but he'll be. He'll, I can't even speak. But, um. He'll take about 19 million bullets to kill. And, uh, There he is! Get him! Fucking! Look at him! Sponging! Fucking, yes! Get shot on, you cunt. We you victory grenade there. Explosions for the win. So, yeah, looks like the video's coming to an end here. This was an experience. Uh, what'd you do? 49 and 3? Is that a good score? I don't know if that's a good score or not. Showing HS's headshots and ah oh, fuck I've run out of the video. Um so yeah this was um <laughs> fun, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, uh, like I said my name's Ryan, they came Grievous, uh going on here, so somebody else will see you in the next hipfire commentary. Good luck with that.